All right, we have a quadratic equation that we have to solve that is currently in standard form. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if we can solve by factoring. To see if we can solve by factoring, what we do is we take a look at the third term and think, are there any numbers that we can multiply that would make that number? But when adding those two numbers, it would make this middle coefficient of 11. And two such numbers that come to mind right away are 5 and 6, because 5 times 6 equals 30. And of course, if we add 5 and 6 together, we get that middle term of 11. So that means that we can solve by factoring. So let us go ahead and write a set of parentheses here and here and set those products equal to 0. And we know the first position in each set of parentheses must be n because n times n is n to the second power. And as we said before, 5 times 6 is 30. So the two numbers you write at the end of each set of parentheses are the two numbers that would produce this last term here. And we have a positive here and a positive here because positive 5 and positive 6 produce 30. And positive 5 and positive 6 when added make 11. All right, now, according to the zero product rule, one of these two factors has to be equal to zero. So it wouldn't matter what this is, this would have to be zero, or it wouldn't matter what this is, this would have to equal zero. So what we're gonna do is set each one of these factors equal to zero and solve. So we have n plus five equals zero, and we have n plus six equals zero. So over here, n has to be equal to negative 5 because that's what you would add to 5 to make 0. And over here, n is equal to negative 6. So negative 5 and negative 6 are the two solutions to this quadratic equation.